Hello everyone, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom with me, Lavinia, for your October 17th to 23rd, 2016 reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you, welcome. I want to thank my new subscribers for subscribing. I also want to thank you for your loyal support and your best wishes. Continue to like, share and subscribe and show your love. For personal reading with me, visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.wibbly.com Book and purchase your readings, email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com The planet of abundance, Jupiter, forms a quincunx with dreamy Neptune on the 23rd. There can be difficulties with limits and boundaries now. We may feel disorganized and it can be difficult to stick to a routine or to find satisfaction with our pursuits. There can be a strong desire to help others, but we may not know how to do so and feel guilty. We may take the easy way out and or be, be misled by wishful thinking or invest in impractical plans or ideas. Hi Scorpio, welcome to this week's reading. I will be using the Butterfly Oracle by Doreen as well as a variation of my virtual decks and an intuitively guided message from God's promises for men and women. Okay, so we have dietary change, religion and spirituality, new career and sobriety. All in all, the energies which surround you are one where, you know, um, it's leading you to your spiritual side and it's asking you to see things clearly this week. Um, we have dietary change, really changing the way you eat, changing the way you nurture your body, changing the way you communicate with your body by changing your diet. For some, this could be a need to consult a nutritionist. For others, it's a call to get a second opinion about your diet or um, really detoxification, veganism, vegetarianism. And I know I had to go back to the natural remedies of the earth, coconut oils, honey, um, molasses, and all that good stuff that the body needs. You could clean out the inside so you could form a a strong connection with the spiritual world so for you your team is saying third eye chakra activation as well as crown chakra activation um, what's on the inside needs to manifest in the physical and you need to see things clearly uh, in order to do so you need to stop um, the intake of all the harmful substances eat organic um, herbs um really detoxifying the body really cleaning out the insides you know um bowel movement dietary change um you will intuitively know what this means to you but it's to sustain a happy and a healthier you happy and healthier lifestyle this is part of your spiritual growth that way you could connect with the heart see things clearly understand your true needs and desires and so that way you can communicate with yourself and others clearly and lovingly um, this is gonna lead you into new beginnings for some it could be a new career a move a change or new ventures or you coupling up with people um, that could assist you in bringing in the energy of the new a new partner new relationships um, new work ventures new new beginnings with regard to your career um, you will intuitively know what this means to you but you being asked to see things clearly okay clear the head through meditation through prayer um, see things clearly trust your internal guidance and be willing to head into the unknown um, this week really be able to see things clearly okay sobriety for some this could be the release of an addiction drug addiction sexual addiction you know um spending addiction you know but you are asked to see things clearly okay so i'm gonna go on to the visionary i Ching for you for a uh, message eight the well eight and four is twelve so 
um, you at the end of a cycle, water above, wind below, um, connecting with your emotions, the well, um, for some it could be the place where you could go to heal, rejuvenate, but I'm feeling that is meditation and prayer, okay, or a wishing well, making sure your wishes and your desires are in alignment with your true needs and heart's desires. So maybe that's why they're asking you to see things clearly, sobriety, okay? With your new career or new work venture, you're being asked to really see things clearly and find that well of inner strength and courage within. You're at the end of a cycle and with that, a new one is unfolding throughout various cultures of the world the well has served as a symbol for that which sustains and provides a constant inexhaustible source of nourishment so that place where you could go to heal to rejuvenate you know um, it could be a place um, in your home um, a gardening project a place in the spiritual world you will intuitively know what this means for you so i'm going to call on an angel and affirmation message for you for this week life adventure do you use affirmations vision boards visualizations or similar maybe practice hypnosis or nlp on some level they can help you if you want more more of yourself want to become more and live from within you without programming then stop doing it and begin asking questions without looking for answers okay so this is with regard to your new career or new work venture new venture um, I'm feeling like it's gonna lead you open up you know new opportunities for you okay and your affirmation is what great and splendid adventure awaits me today what can I add to my life to make today greater beyond my wildest expectations for those of you who think that particular meditations or things that you do at a particular time you know helps you um, your team is asking you to really live from within so when you um, detoxify change the way your healthcare routine, the way you eat, um, and you can detoxify the internal. That way, you can see things clearly um, with regard to the bigger picture, um, connecting with the heart, and being able to communicate with yourself and others lovingly. Um, this is going to lead you into finding a new career, new partners. It could be um, love, romantic relationships you know um but you're being asked to see things clearly and find that well that you could go to heal and rejuvenate and live from within okay no hypnosis okay um ask yourself those questions and be open and receiving to the abundance of the universe this week um feeling that the universe is going to lead you into a period of serendipity where everything falls into place okay so detoxify so you could see things clearly amazing energy surround you I'm feeling this week may be one that may be a little adventurous but nothing that you can't handle nothing that um, you're not wanting okay because what you want wants you that is the theme for this week knowing that what you want wants you i'm gonna go on to your intuitively guided message rest in his protection no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn this is the heritage of the servant of the lord and their righteousness is from me says the lord this is isaiah 54 verse 17 rest in his protection what does this mean to you remember like share and subscribe for personal reading with me check out the links in the description box below check us out on facebook like our facebook page have an amazing week